facing east on a south-facing slope of the Chiltern Hills is Grey's Court, a National Trust property that may have escaped your casual gaze. It is not far from Henley-on-Thames. The main building dates back to the Elizabethan era. It has been occupied by several families and is much altered. However, today the facade resembles quite closely its original appearance. For a short period in the 1930s, Grace Court was occupied by Mrs. Evelyn Fleming, a name that might be familiar because her son Ian was the creator of 007, the fictional secret agent James Bond. Elizabeth Lady Brunner was the last occupant. She gave Grace Court to the National Trust in 1969, and today the house is fully open to visitors. Although ancient, Grace Court is not a grand house, but since the death of Lady Brenner in 2003, the interior, and in particular its furnishing, have been kept. It is a time warp that will become ever more fascinating as the years roll by. I went on a beautiful sunny day in October. Perfect for the outside, not so good inside. The challenge was to balance daylight streaming through windows into a much darker interior. Difficult to balance, even in post-production, with a raw file. And remember, tripods are not permitted in National Trust properties. Therefore, HDR may not be feasible for all photographers. It was quite difficult. And bear in mind that other people are walking in and out of your picture. Not much time or flexibility for photo correctness. Here for comparison is the image out of camera, followed by the same image adjusted in Adobe Lightroom. I kept the ISO on 200 for maximum quality and relied on the image stabilizers in both my EM1 Mark II and 12-100 Pro lens for sharp images. I compromised exposure by spot metering near a highlight so that they were slightly overexposed but with the interior underexposed. I saved a raw and carried out post-production by balancing contrast manually based on experience in Adobe Lightroom. Here are the figures for this shot. I carried out this technique on all interior images, leaving the camera mode on program using Program Plus Shift to override the automatic exposure settings. This I find quicker to implement, not because the subject is going to disappear, but more likely someone I don't want will appear instead. After the shoot and a delicious cheese and onion pasty from the restaurant, I toured the garden, but being October, I could have imagined more colour a few months earlier, and it wasn't quite autumn yet for tints.
Afterwards, I had time to cross from Oxfordshire into Buckinghamshire for Hamilton, an attractive and peaceful Chilterns village. Well, at the moment, you might recognise the location, as it is sometimes featured in the popular TV drama Midsummer Murders. I managed to survive, but not before a visit to St. Mary's Church for salvation, under the pretext of photography, of course. <laughs> 